was a little something like this. Come on. Good afternoon, Candy Dragons. I am Mr. Butcher. I'm Mr. Vickers. And he is here to help out uh, because Mr. Newport's not here today. So, and to th this is the afternoon announcement. So, this is your first time doing the announcements. First time. Yes. You, you look very excited. I'm super excited. Super. This is my excited face. You should see him when he's not excited. There you go. So, um, he is going to be helping us out. But we're going to start with our uh, lunch for tomorrow. I'm going to do breakfast. Um, for breakfast tomorrow, ham and egg English muffin. Yum! It is fantastic. I saw them um, making, cutting the ham today. More excited face. Yep, very excited. If you don't want ham and egg English muffin, you can get strawberry guava bun. Why would you pick that when you could have ham? And, and egg. Yes, I don't know. But strawberry guava bun. And if you don't like either of those two, you can, have, you can have cereal. Ooh, cereal! Yep, cereal. Don't know More what kind. More excited face. Very good. All right, so tell me, Mr. Vickers, what is for lunch tomorrow? For lunch, we're having mini slider burgers. I don't know how they slide. And then we're going to have sidewinder fries. That's right, you read it right. I did read it right. Yes. That is scary. That reminds me of a snake, like a sidewinder snake, yes. but they're making fries out of them. Do you so, know what they'd be called if you were in Auburn? What would they be called? Side Auburn fries. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> And with that, you get lettuce and tomato, yep. fruit cocktail, and fruit. Well, fruit cocktail or fruit. Or fruit. Yes. Go with the fruit cocktail. It has those <laughs> mini cherries in them. Not, Ooh, nobody like, likes the mini cherries. No. All right. So that is uh, now time to do our perfect attendance. So you start with pre-K. Pre-K. Miss Woods class had perfect attendance. Go, Miss Woods class. Miss Kindergarten class. Miss Halsey and Miss Johnson. First grade class. Miss Simpson. Just Miss Simpson. Just. In second grade, Miss Bassett, Miss Coyle, Miss Holder, and Miss Kinney. And in third grade, Mrs. Trillo, Piner, and Steve. In fourth grade, Miss Baller and Miss Fister, three days in a row for Miss Fister. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, she hadn't been on there until three days ago. Oh, but that's now, sad. But she's doing great now. And fifth grade, Miss Allen, Miss Soros class. Go, guys. And good job. And also, too, Miss Haney had perfect attendance. Okay. All right, today we're going to play a new game. I got Jonah and I got Meredith here, and we're going to play a new game. It's called, Which One's Doing the Right Thing? A or B. Okay, so Meredith's going to be our person to ask the question, and then I will and Jonah will will be acting it out. Your job is to figure out which one's doing it right, A or B. Which one is being ready? Remember, ready means being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff. A or B? Hey, I don't have my uh, napkin. And hey, I don't have a f orange. You say it. I have it. I have it. Who is being ready? Remember, ready means being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff. A or B? <laughs> or in his seat. Who is being respectful? Remember, respectful means treating others the way you want to be treated. A. <laughs> or B. Hey, Mr. Butcher, how was your day? Oh, thanks for not screaming at me.
smile on your face and giving her the deffer. A. I'm not cleaning up. I didn't drop it. Or B. Oh, thank you for cleaning up. call of the day comes from Miss Brian's second grade class and it is Caden Tony. Miss Brian says that Caden is always ready, respectful, and responsible. He always comes prepared for class. He always completes his work and he's a great friend to everyone in this class and she's very proud of him. Great job Caden Tony for being our good news call of the day. So Mr. Vickers, um, we've started our reading challenge. Uh, summer, uh, our, I keep saying summer, but it's our September reading challenge. That's because it's so hot. It is very hot. It's yeah. super hot out here. Um, it's on Myon, so they just go on there and they read uh, 10 of the 20 or 30 books that are on there. That's a lot of books. It is a lot of books, but they don't have to, they can listen to them. Oh, okay, well that's not like yes. reading. Oh, you, well, yeah, you can listen yeah. to them. It's like cheating. No, you can listen and read like sometimes. You need to read. Yes. So you can do that. You have 10 books that you have to read. Um, then at the end, they just got to answer a question or a uh, few, and then, and then write one sentence about what their favorite part was. Oh, excellent. Good job. Yes, very good. So they have to respond to what they read. That's a big word. It is. It's a big word. Yep. Uh, when it's Mr. Like give an answer. Yes. Okay. When Mr. Newport is here on Wednesdays, guess what he does? He responds to something? He does not. He oh. gives the multisyllabic word of the day. So. Multisyllabic. Yes. I like saying that. Do multisyllabic. You, do you have a multisyllabic word that you can use? Multisyllabic. <laughs> Very good. Excellent job. All right. So that's all the analysis that we have for today. Uh, thank you for helping us keep you safe by being a ready. This is when you say respect respectful and responsible leader who's focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready respectful and responsible leader you are oh. boldly committed to student success bus riders please pay attention to the bus so you don't miss your bus when your bus is called go straight to this man he'll be pointing you where to go go straight to the bus so we don't miss your bus you guys have a great night we'll see you tomorrow we love you very much thank you mr vickers for helping us out oh you're very welcome perfect